hearts are broken, our lights are dimmed, and our pain is piercing. But we are encouraged by the spirit of fortitude and optimism in the face of despair as you were known for. You were a great father without a doubt. For the rest of the country, you were indeed the no-nonsense brave politician and astute lawyer. Even though we certainly admire those attributes to us, you were just daddy. At an early age, you made us realize that as children from a poverty ridden background, the greatest equalizer enabling us to compete effectively and equally was none other than education. You challenge each of us not to underestimate our capabilities in whatever environment we find ourselves in. In several separate discussions as a collective unit or individually, you stated ad nauseum, quote, take pride in your heritage. Be the head and not the tail. Resist any attempt at suppression with all you have. I have nothing to leave for you besides making sure you get the best education you possibly can. We are eternally grateful for your love, care, attention, and detailed involvement in putting together the seams of a beautiful mosaic of what each of us has become today. So passionate was your love for education that, at an early age, you made sure we all had a copy of the book, Code First Aid in English. You would come from work and ask that we go through synonyms, antonyms, similes, past and present tenses of verbs, superlatives, and so on and so forth. You were an avid reader, voraciously reading anything you chanced upon to expand your knowledge in all disciplines. You encouraged us to develop a love for reading. You always told us that failure to read and broaden our knowledge was the surest way to be the tail and not the head. Thank you.